two Westerville police officers pulled up behind Emmanuel Oluwale, a human rights attorney who asserts ownership of the garbage can where he dumped his trash on July 10th, 2021. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. On body camera footage, police in Westerville, Ohio, are seen looking for illegal dumping. Olawale claimed on Tuesday that he was giving the cops his ID and business card in an attempt to defuse the tension. As one officer gave the ID to the other to record details, Olawale said, no. Olawale remarked, I told him, no, you can't do that. Officers told Olawale, at that point, while I said you don't have the right to check my ID, they were primarily concerned with making sure everything was in working condition. Olawal remembered, I asked him, why are you escalating this? On tape. On body cam footage, one cop was heard remarking, sir, you're turning this into a problem. We're basically enumerating the individuals we hang out with. Charles Chandler, the chief of police in Westerville, released a statement saying, the body camera shows a professional and courteous meeting between our officers and Mr. Olawale. According to the chief, the officers took Olawal up on his offer to reveal his identify, and depending on the situation, an officer would utilize this information to write a report or get a statement. In order to ensure that our actions are appropriate, legal, and professional, I require officers to provide as much information as possible during any call, Chief Chandler stated. Chief Chandler claims that Mr. Olawal took his complaint to social media rather of filing a report or getting in touch with WPD to voice his concerns. Is it permissible for law enforcement to cross-reference an ID to ensure it matches theirs? Olawale was questioned by 10TV's Bryant Somerville. That's against the law, Olawala said. Olawala believes that racial profiling was applied to him. Olawala said, I think if I wasn't black, they wouldn't have tried to go deeper without raising any questions about their motivations. Oluwale claims that once an officer gets your ID, you are legally in custody and that the event didn't need to escalate to that point. If he attempted to escape in his car, he threatened to use their weapons. They might claim that I'm fleeing if I try to leave, Oluwale stated. In Westerville, police officers are trained in a range of subjects, such as handling suspicious individuals and harassment. Olawale contends that further training is necessary. They acted in a most improper and unprofessional manner. It wasn't as professional as it turned out to be, he stated. Westerville police stated they were investigating the matter internally. The two police officers involved are still on the job. The police chief of Westerville refuted Emmanuel Oluwale's allegation that he was the victim of racial profiling, saying that Olawale and two officers had a courteous and professional exchange. I think that was justified at first when they arrived to determine if there was illegal dumping, Olawale stated. However, anything beyond that identification and contact crosses the line. Olawale was concerned that the cops might scan his driver's license to check for any warrants or a criminal history. I believe that was racial profiling, he said. They don't really care if a black man practices law or not. Consequently, they were required to re-verify me rather than simply speaking with me and leaving. Westerville police said to NBC4 on Monday that they were investigating the incident. Chief Charles Chandler replied on Tuesday and made body camera video available. Chandler said the entire discussion lasted less than three minutes. Furthermore, Mr. Olawale gave his identify and the police took him up on it without asking. In some situations, an officer may use this information to file a report or get a statement. In order to ensure that our actions are appropriate, legitimate, and professional, I expect the officers to offer as much information as they can on any call, Chief Chandler stated. Everything had gone well, Olawal said, until the policeman asked to grab his driver's license to get into the police car. Therefore, he said, instead of us simply having that encounter and moving on, they had to re-verify because I'm black. One body camera clip from each of officers Dan Ruth and Matthew Bowman was given. However, the video were edited to eliminate any mention of Oluwali's driver's license. Chandler added that Ruth was training Bowman, a rookie police officer. Ruth gave Bowman the driver's license and took Oluwala's business card in the videos after making sure their identities matched. Can I get that back, please? Olawale asked Bowman a question. There's no need for you to run it, Ruth said. We're going to mark it down at minimum. We'll delete your data, Ruth remarked. Olawale said, nope, 
I'm a lawyer, as he emptied trash into his yard's trash can. I know what my legal rights are. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm on my own territory. There is no reason to suspect. Don't look at my ID. No one answered the phone. To prevent things from getting worse, I'm merely identifying myself. Then Bowman returned the driver's license to Oluwale. I acknowledge that you're there to do a check, Oluwale said. But your attempt to run my ID via search engine is wrong. Ruth said, well, that's not illegal, but you are welcome to continue dumping. Ruth said to Bowman, all right, just turn around and leave here, then we'll look him up after that. Back in their cruiser, they went. The clips stop and the cruiser drives away. Olawale told NBC4 and on social media that the probe was appropriate. And Chandler noted that Olawal didn't call the police to report any issues. I'm basing my remarks on the body-worn camera, which I think is exactly what WPD officers should be doing, Chandler stated. Professor Dan Cobiel, an expert on constitutional law at Capital University's law department, was Oluwale's instructor. He said that if police wanted to, they could take the name off and verify the license or name. He says there was no need to take the license to the police car. The interaction was definitely called for at that moment, Cobiel added. Following the discovery that Mr. Oluwale was only hurling garbage at his own establishment and had every right to be there, NBC4 asked Cobiel if he thought Oluwale's constitutional rights had been violated during the interaction. Cobiel said, I think there's an argument that it might have been a breach. However, I believe there is also a counter-argument. This country still has injustice, which President Trump called a terrible, heartbreaking tragedy. About five years ago, Mr. Floyd moved to Minneapolis from his native Houston. He was well known in his third ward neighborhood for being a pleasant person and for being a standout player in high school football and basketball. His cousin Tara Brown, who grew up next to him, said of him, he was happy there. He had established pals and spoke about completing truck driver training. These happy feelings were in sharp contrast to what his family witnessed on the video, which was recorded by a bystander, and showed Mr. Floyd repeatedly pleading with the police and claiming that he was having trouble breathing. Another cousin named Sharon DeTate stated that she had not seen the film before, but that it horrified her that a family member had been killed in broad daylight. In a subsequent phone call, she found out that the man in the video was actually her cousin. I was numb at first, she said, adding that she then experienced astonishment, hurt, and rage before realizing the person in the video was her watching hurt. Now that I know this person is indeed my flesh and blood, the anguish has risen tenfold. Ms. Tate and many others, like as Mayor Jacob Frey of Minneapolis, have pushed the authorities to prosecute the implicated cops with crimes. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss and see you in the next story.